You want to know whether the kid is yours or not, but uh, DNA is very expensive. We have alternative ways of doing that, but uh, that method usually have some limitations. I'm going to first of all give you some facts, and then from there we are going to make conclusions based on what we are going to learn from this video. So like you all know, we have four blood groups. The major ones, we have A, we have B, we have AB, and then we have O. If a partner so happened to have A and the other partner is B, so this is the Mendelian fashion. Uh, you're going to get AB in that family. You're going to get A, and then you're going to get B, and then O. So the probability of having all the four blood groups is extremely high. So you're going to have all of them. So you cannot use uh, this method to determine whether maybe the kid is yours or not. Now, let's go to the next one. That is now B. So in case one of the partner is, okay, let's start with A. A, O, and then uh, the other partner is O. So in case uh, that's the case, you're going to get A. You're going to get another A. So chances of A is really high. Uh, this is to this one. So this is O. And this other one will be O. So you're only going to get A and O. So in that family, you cannot find anything B. You cannot find A, B. So these ones cannot be found. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Now let's go to B. One of the partner is B. The other partner is O. What you're going to get is you're going to get B. You'll get another B. Uh, you're going to get O. Then you're going to get O. So in this case, you can't find A and you cannot find AB. So these ones, you cannot find them. Uh, let's proceed. Now we're done with A. We, ha we are done with B. Let's go to AB. In case one of the partner is AB. Yeah. The other partner is O. You're going to get A. You are going to get... Uh, another A, you're going to get B, and you're going to get another B. So in this family, you cannot find O, and also you cannot find AB in that family. But you're going to, to find both A and B. So this ones you cannot find in that family. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, I'm running out of my canvas. Okay, so let's go to now this one, O. If both of the, of the partners are O, so that would be O, 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 like that. Would be O, be O. Should be O, should be O. So in a family where the members are, oh, not the members, where the partners are O, so you cannot find A, you cannot find B, you cannot find A, B, you're only going to get O. So all of this cannot be found there. Now let's proceed to, in case one of the partner is A, B, and other black groups. So A, B, and then we have A, O. Uh -huh. So cross multiply, uh, this should be A. No, sorry, that should be A still. Because this will be A, A, this will be A, O. So both of them will be A. Okay, so we go to B. This will be A, B. And this other one will be B. So what's missing here? O. So you cannot find the O in this family. Okay. We proceed. So in case we have uh, A, B. And uh, the other partner is uh, B. So B, O. So we, remember we started with this one. So A, B versus A. So we have now A, B versus B. So this should be A, B. This one should be A. This should be B. And uh, this other one should be B. So what you are not having here is O again. So in that family you cannot find O. Okay, so now we can go and now start doing our conclusions. Now, in case maybe in that family, one of the members is A, the other member is O, you are going to find all the blood groups in that family. So you cannot be able to predict whether 
the kid is yours or not. When you go to one of the partner is A, the other partner is O, uh, the only thing that you're going to get in that family, you can only find A and then you're going to find O, but you cannot find B, you cannot find AB in that family. So in case maybe the kid is B or AB, then uh, you have a bigger thing to maybe go do a DNA or something. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's proceed to this other one here. So in case both of the partners are O, so the only thing that you're going to find in that family is O, and in case maybe something else like A or B or AB shows up, maybe it's a miracle. Uh, in case you have B and uh, one of the partners is O, you can only find B and O in that family. You're, you're not going to find A, you're not going to find AB in that family. So again, if they show up, yeah, you know, miracles, faith works in mysterious ways. Uh, if one of the partner is A, B, the other one is O, um, you're going to find only A and B in that family. You cannot find O, you cannot find A, B. So in case maybe you have A, B, and now you know you've branched now to A, B, A, B, and uh, the other partner is A, you can only find A and uh, A, B, and B in that family. So O cannot exist in that family. Again, yeah, we do believe in miracles. Uh, in case one of the partner is AB and the other partner is O, mm -hmm, you are only going to get AB, A, and B. You're not going to find O. So this is not a conclusive way of determining whether the kid is yours or not. The best way you can be able to do that is through DNA. So by now you have identified some of the limitations we have in that method. Like for example, if the other partner or whoever the person was belongs to your blood group, it's very hard to tell. Or if uh, you and your partners belong to either A or B, it's very hard to tell because you're going to have all blood groups in the same family. So we have some limitations in this. So the 100% method of doing uh, paternity will be to just do a DNA profiling. And that one, a little bit expensive, but when you first of all explore the facts which I've shown you, then you can have a good basis when you want to either proceed to the next step or just to stop from exactly there. Thank you. If you have watched this fight, it means that you're gaining value. So give us a sub and a like. Share to those people who will be interested. And uh, make sure you ring the notification bell. See you in the next one.